All right, gamers, welcome to my season 14 Nila gameplay. This game, we're going to be playing Nila Lux into Zig Spike. Nila's a huge beneficiary from the changes this season. I think she's actually seen the, well, actually, the second biggest win rate increase of the season. The first is actually Aphelios, but Nila's the one that already had a good win rate, who saw her win rate still go up even higher. So she's pretty busted at the moment. Benefits a lot from the collector change and possibly other stuff. Uh, for example, the fact that the lanes seem to be just longer this season is good for her. Oh, that's probably a dead Lux. But I can maybe just do some damage to Ziggs here. Pop Ghost should be a kill. Nice one, lovely. That's kind of lucky that I just kind of brain farted there. Pike by himself could have killed Lux and then Ziggs didn't need to do anything. Um, I could get ganked if I try and shove this in, so this wave state isn't absolutely perfect, this is actually kind of a freeze for them. But it's only, hopefully, a temporary one, as many of these melees should go under turrets, so the wave will fix itself. And we just want to avoid taking any unnecessary risks there that might cost us the lane. I guess I can wait for another longsword here. There we go. Gonna be looking to rush the serrated Dirk into Collector. Yeah, because the lanes are so much longer now, there's so much more distance between turrets. This heavily benefits all in based ADCs. Uh, the w best way to highlight this, for example, is imagine the turrets were like right next to each other here, right? Literally, the only way ADCs could harass each other is from like outside of their turrets. So a short range ADC a, or a, an engaged based ADC like Nila would never be able to engage, right? But an ADC like Caitlyn, who never has to leave the safety of a turret, you would never be able to touch her. Uh, that being said, when you elongate the lanes the opposite happens where caitlin now never really has a spot where she's safe or almost never and you know occasionally she will be under turret but um the more chances there is that caitlin is just really far away from her turret and that she could be abused by an all in adc like neela and ziggs may as well be caitlin in this example he is a very long range carry that's a shame that looks felt the need to take that oh well so that is another thing that is probably contributing to Nila's strength, which is less obvious. I don't know how much it's really contributing to her strength. I don't like being, you know, the late increase wasn't like that much, but it's probably something. And there's probably other changes as well. Um, some bigger, some smaller, but it's probably not just the collector change that is benefiting her. Here we get the crash this time. Nice. I want Lux to leave, especially I definitely don't want her using E on that whiff. If she dies, there she dies. That's not my problem. She should be leaving. Uh, this is really bad for me. Because if Ziggs were to just let this push into us now, it all of these minions would die so much faster now. Thankfully, he is pushing, so this minimizes the effect of Lux's mistake. That is the bright side of low elo, is that as bad as your supports are, like in terms of um, trying not to screw you over, you know, you will get fucked over by your supports a lot, but on the bright side, the enemies also won't necessarily know how to optimally abuse that, so just every time your support does something really stupid, just reassure yourself that even if you haven't noticed it, the enemies are doing equally dumb stuff as well, you know, so you're all, you're all, we're all working with the same handicap in low elo. I say we, I'm, I'm visiting here, I'm a tourist. Nice one. Uh, maybe I overused my dashes. That's fine. We got a good trade there, though. I might push into the wrong slot, actually. I'm putting points in E, by the way. Uh, Nila's Q is overall her best ability, but it scales much more heavily with items than her E. Her E just gives straight up more upfront damage when you don't have items. So we put three points into E to get more burst damage and more cooldown reduction on that. Then level seven is when we start putting points into Q and have that maxed by level 10. To make sure that by the time we start to get some items, it's already fully maxed and we get that maximum DPS. But we just don't need to stop putting points in it quite so early. All right, we have two charges on E again. We can try and all in Ziggs again. There we go. I'm going to run him down with Ghost because I'm pretty sure I can. Wait, what? Where is he? There we go. I don't even need to use the second charge from my E. B 
Yeah, so Nilo was also just one of the ADCs who was already... You need to stay. I could actually die to Pike here if she doesn't stay and protect me while I shove this wave. So Nilo was one of the few ADCs who was already rushing Collector, so... Just because she has so much synergy with it already, it just makes her one of the best ADCs to benefit from the fact that Collector is just very strong right now. Even after its 100 gold increase nerf. Um, <clears throat> and on top of that... Even as far as ADCs that uh, were already rushing Collector go, I would I would argue actually that Nila is the one that benefits from it the most. Just mathematically, because of the way her Q works, which gives her uh, percentage-based armor pen uh, as she builds crit. Well, armor pen actually synergizes quite well with lethality. Um, obviously, the lower the armor value on the enemy, uh, the more effective lethality is, because the bigger the percentage damage increase from armor penetration becomes so basically nila gets more damage out of each point than lethality than the average adc does aside from well arguably arguably aphelios at least uh probably early on aphelios is going to be getting a lot more armor pen at least on the squishy targets but at the very least nila would have to be the second best definitely would benefit more from it than someone like samira yeah. anyway this is actually supposed to be a very annoying matchup by the way nila hates playing against mages she does get 25% damage reduction on her W, but it is nowhere near as powerful as the 100% damage reduction on auto attacks. And Ziggs doesn't use auto attacks much, so it's not a big deal for him. And that disengage is just crazy. We would be able to abuse him so hard as well, if not for the fact that every time I got on him, he just W's away. And W's me away as well. Maybe if I hadn't wasted my second D charge, though, I could have tried to find an all in here, but generally... Um, we would much rather be facing shorter range champion. Spike is fine. We enjoy facing Pike. Gives us something to auto attack when Zig is being unreachable. But, uh, generally we would much rather their carry also be something much more vulnerable. And have to get, uh, down and dirty, to put it one way, to actually deal their damage. Zig does his damage very, very safe. Okay, that's his disengage wasted. We see Briar recalling. Maybe I can bait her, though. Yep, nice. Whoa, she dodged that. Okay, I just barely kill her. I shouldn't have bothered flashing, because I'm clearly going to die there if I'm ignited. And even if it, I wasn't, uh, there's still the range of damage to contend with. So, yeah, once she flashed my ult, I probably wasn't going to be able to kill her without... The, uh, while surviving as well, but you know, whatever. At least we do get the kill that was a shutdown, so I wouldn't necessarily say it's worth. I think this is overall bad because of how much CS I lose. But, you know, it's definitely not like a disaster, at least. Anyway, so... Uh, we can try and adapt to Zig's play pattern, I guess. So every time I dash on him, he keeps placing his W um, in a way where, where he tries to knock me back and also tries to knock himself away. So I need to basically just immediately double dash on him every time. So wherever he gets knocked back i also get knocked back in the same direction hopefully it's gonna be tough though because i'm not even sure if i can actually even if i manage to get knocked with him in the same direction i'm not sure i can catch up to him afterwards if i've used both of my dashes at that point this might be for us that is for lux okay pike will definitely be trying to kill her here Zix is really low we're gonna try and dash on him Even the Pike himself brings a lot of appeal for Ziggs is also a big issue here. And even the Pike being a melee champ is really annoying just because of his E being so much like safety for himself. As soon as he's caught in a precarious position where he's getting DPS by me, he can just get away and have no way of reclosing that gap. There's, I was going to say, probably a bar coming for me, which I really should have had hope for. Oh, if I'd been able to dodge that, I actually would have been able to escape the melt. But yeah, that was really cool from Lux, actually, no, but... Should have noticed what she was doing and, I guess, backed off. Let's see, I was shoving in this wave. Lux randomly walks away. Yeah, that sucks. We obviously want to finish shoving that in before we go to base. I uh, also could have reacted better here, to be fair. If I, I'm pretty sure I can dodge her stun with my W. That would have been so much burst prevented, allowed me to fight back sooner. Uh, would have definitely bought me a lot of time to get my ult back up. And then I just barely got hit by that Pike ult, which is an absolute tragedy. Because that was exactly as my ult came up. If I can dodge this Pike ult and now turn with my ultimate, 
uh, I know this time Briar doesn't have flash to dodge it, so that would have absolutely decimated them there, I think. Okay, that's fine. We got his W. I'm pretty sure his W cooldown is lower than my E cooldown, but at least I've got oh, what? at least I've got two charges to work with, so I can get at least one dash towards him every time he's got W. Nice. But like I said, it is meant to be a really tough matchup, particularly without having an engaged support. I think the absolute best support we could have in a matchup like this is either Pike himself or a Nautilus or uh, probably a Blitzcrank would be the absolute best. Let's try and get Ziggs now. We'll use ult. Boom. And we get him. Boom. Now maybe we get Pike too if we're lucky. Mm, probably being greedy here, but... Okay, I do at least get him. That's another shutdown. Now I'm going to take a pinch of the Sin. Do I think that was worth it? Honestly, maybe. It was a shutdown. I do miss out on this farm, but the bright side of missing out on farm in this scenario is that at least my teammates get it. You know, the farm doesn't go into the void. It doesn't die to the turret. Somebody else is getting that. So that's something, at least. Um, okay, this should be best here. Or... So we could also do this. Yeah, I guess this is actually slightly better. I want to have some mobility, ideally, to deal with the fact that Ziggs is so hard to get on top of. Yeah, also, another way that I can try and deal with this matchup is uh, just immediately pop ult the moment I get onto Ziggs. He can't really disengage that fast, I don't think. Or at least he's not really reacting in time to do so. As long as I can drag him towards me with my ultimate, then it's going to be really hard for him to get away without Pike, Pike getting some good peel off. Don't have ult right now, though. It could be in a burst somewhere. Oh, this is probably going to be for us, I imagine. Could easily not be. Yeah, it probably wasn't. Yeah. Ooh, that could be good. Nice one, Lee. Oh, there she is. Um, She's definitely going to try and kill me. We can probably try and turn. I don't have ult yet, but I do have my W. Okay, with Ziggs just wasted his disengage. Oh, he can actually stun me. That's kind of lame. Okay, it's him dead. Got ult now. Ooh, that's a shame. We probably could have killed them in an alternate universe easily. Uh, maybe she still dies here. Oh, no, you're kidding me. Actually, I'm not familiar enough with Varus Kit. I wasn't expecting her to get a heal. I was expecting to get stunned, but I knew I would do that EQ burst guaranteed, and then uh, at least one other would kill her. But I wasn't accounting for her healing there. Oh well. We're all winning at least in terms of bot lane. Just um, mostly getting ganked a lot by Briar and these things. These ganks just barely not going well. At least the Ziggs is really behind. What does Pike got here? Voltage. Okay, so this is going to slow me by 19% for 0.75 seconds. That's actually the Energizer effect that uh, Stormers are used to have. And people used to think it sucked, but it was actually really underrated. I don't have ult up right now. I'm not really going to get onto Ziggs unless he wastes W again. Oh, another ward. Okay, a little briar. So I guess stun, but I avoid the damage. I guess it's something, but... Got her. Oh, I'm blinded. Why the hell is there a Teemo here? That's their top laner. Oh lord, that is a disaster. Did we have any sign of him appearing? Or is that just incredibly unlucky? Um, techni yeah, technically we did see him on the map. Oh, uh, what the hell? I don't know where he came from, but apparently he was at one point under our mid lane turret. But I was a bit distracted with this gank to see that. Technically I had the information though. Just wasn't looking at it. Can't get pickaxe or anything else here. Inside Lou, we're probably about to lose our turret. Unless... Oh, nice one. 
Needed stopping a pussy there. He shouldn't have been afraid of the turret because the turret was about to die if he just kept hitting it. Okay, the other vision there. No putting me trying to flank the Ziggs there. Let's try and get onto him. But now I have no more dashes, which can make it awkward. Oh god. <laughs> and I'm ganked again. Uh, to be fair though, I was probably dead no matter what, just to the pike. If he hit that Q, which he did. But yeah, sure it doesn't feel nice knowing that even if I did try and outplay and didn't manage to outplay, I was still screwed no matter what just because Briar was there. And Teemo apparently. On the bright side, our Yasuo got a turret and maybe he'll get a Herald. He's also maybe just about to die at the Herald though. Not entirely sure. I really, like, definitely the best move for him if he's truly 1v0 is just to keep pushing. This is so unnecessary, especially if he ends up dying. I think he will get it, though. But it's so time inefficient compared to pushing a lane that nobody is defending. Especially with how slow he has to do it to not die. Is he baiting or what? Should be able to chase him with Ghost. Even if it flashes, he should die now. Nice one. If Leeson wasn't in the air, I wouldn't have even tried that. Just, just because of... um. Oh, wait. This Lux doesn't even have a support item. What the hell? Has she not had one all game? What? So confused. Uh, but yeah, just in case there was somebody with Ziggs, or like in the area at least, I wouldn't have had the confidence to do that without a teammate around. Wouldn't have been smart to blindly all in him like that. Okay, hopefully we can get this turret here. The, tur the objective bounty should be quite good. Nice. Now I've got Navori, and that is going to be a huge power spike. Nice one. And we can get another crit cloak. And what do we want to do here? So I think actually, unironically, it might be smart for me to build Mercurial Scimitar third item. The QSS will be very, in well, just purely invaluable against the Teemo um, with his blind. It can also remove the uh, Briar stun. It can also remove the Pikey stun. It can remove slows. I don't know how many slows they have, to be fair. Actually, I'll want to join this fight. Fuck the middle lane farm. Where you can have it. Timo might be recalling in here. He might be invisible. Hey, I got him. Huge. Uh, does she actually want to fight me? She really shouldn't. Nice one. I think she was about to flash that wall, actually. I don't think she knew I was there. To be fair, I was only visible for maybe like a second if there was no ward there. Timo just immediately died. <laughs> Sorry guys, no worries. Also, I'm more upset at this Lux stealing on my farm than I am at him feeding Teemo, to be honest. No God, no devil can stop I'm not sure not a handicap that Zix has to work with this game. Or Teemo, for that matter. We could maybe win a fight with my ultimate up. Ooh, I just barely hit my Q. Huge. Got her. And Pike has no defensive tools left, except Flash, apparently. Ah, I'm dead. Well, not dead, but just wasted Flash, at least. That's not... It's not a death, but it's, it still doesn't feel good, to be honest. Don't know how he managed to Flash that angle, though. Goddamn, my bad. But, uh, yeah, also the Amar is just, from your Curl Scimitar is also going to be really, really nice against... Ziggs, Akali, and Timo. Ooh, he's probably dead there. No point trying to help. Uh, I'm gonna get my base cancel either way, though. Oh, at this point, I might have enough gold to build Shield Bow and QSS. Actually, I really can almost do that. I think I should do that. Usually, I would actually just recommend 
finishing a full scimitar. Just because I've, I've I'm actually finding that scimitar is quite underrated. Just getting the upgrade uh, from the stats is quite nice, and then also even the upgraded QSS, where you also get movement speed every time you use QSS, is actually really underrated too. But um, there's also just no need to do it if you can complete a full item alongside the QSS without it having to be scimitar. Scimitar. But we'll definitely complete scimitar soonish because I don't really need armor pen in a game like this. Nice one. And that's already now 30 MR2. Which is going to be invaluable against our comp. Oh, my bad. Molting in advance. I'm too slow. I could have kissed this sooner. Wait, even after my kiss, I was too slow. What? What was I slowed by? Or it felt like I was slowed anyway, right? Oh, maybe I stepped on a shroom? I don't know if you can kiss as Team Mushroom slows. No, I don't see. I don't see the Team Mushroom anywhere, though. Maybe I just didn't have enough time to see that I was sped up. Or maybe I was in a Ziggs minefield. No, I wasn't. Hmm. It's a mystery. Definitely doesn't feel like I was better. Maybe it's just me and block. Who knows? Who cares? Doesn't matter. It's not that important. Anyway, next item, we're just going to go for the Mercurial Scimitar just for the sake of not having to sit on an incomplete item for ages. I really do think that that is the best move with Scimitar. Unless you absolutely need something like Lord Dominic's before upgrading Scimitar. I don't want to fight Teemo right now. I don't have QSS. Also, don't have any teammates around and I have no idea where his teammates are. <sighs> yeah. I can use W to get some magic damage reduction, but it doesn't matter. I live still plenty. I have to go for the wolves because she's not leaving me anything to farm there. Or maybe we just want to go for Drake. Or we just fight here. I think we should go for the Drake. At the very least, there should be a Kalung Gwen, if not a Steel. Nice one, Lee Sin. Oop, nice one. This is actually a really nice counter to Briars, just being able to use E to get on her other side when she's trying to use that knockback thing. Oh, hello. Oh, damn it. I should have QSS sooner. should have ulted sooner. Actually, the QSS might have been fine. I mainly should have ulted sooner. So I dash on him. Uh, take a look at QSS will not have sooner, but the important thing is that I should have been immediately ulting. There's no reason to delay my ult here. No benefit at all. I want them knocked back immediately. Oh, and I stepped on a shroom as well. Pretty much removed my shield bow. Alright, and now we got 50 MR up from 30 MR. So that's a 20 MR increase. We've also gained 40 AD. We've gained 20% crit chance. All for, what was it, 1700 gold? It is super, super effective. When you consider that um, BF sword is 40 gold. Uh, sorry, 40 AD for 1,400 gold. We get all that for... The, so basically for 300 gold, we're getting 20% crit and 20 MR. That is insanely efficient, right? On top of the upgraded active. Right, next item, I think I'm going to actually try that tank MR item I've seen everybody run. That gives you like an overshield. People are saying it's really busted, and it feels really busted when I play against it, to be honest. I'll use, use ult. There we go. We managed to kill Akali. Oh, I've been hit. I need to use W. Okay, good. Nice one. Huge, huge, huge. Used my ultimate there, because I knew Akali was somewhere around there, that spot, and I wanted to one-shot her during her shroud. Before she could do much damage. Oh, 
No point assessing that, I can't really commit anyway with those Ziggs mines there. Or the Teemo Shroom, I can't remember which it was. Should probably actually get uh, Red Trinket at some point, by the way. Also, is somebody pushing top? Maybe not. I wonder what that effect on Pike is that I actually know. Wait, my Kyo Sestem go off. What? I'm just honestly mashing every button here. Uh, I did play, tr uh, press QSS way sooner, but it didn't go off for some reason. I was trying to get rid of the stun and the blind. Get us a little bit lucky. We could try and do Baron now. I think Baron is doable. But we don't have the one guy who should really be there, so... Never mind. Alright, I've at least got my final item, hopefully. Oh, there it goes, Leeson. Okay. Oh, I'm so confident as well that Lux recalled to deal with the top lane farm. I said Baron, nobody followed? What? What do you mean? I was the one saying Baron. He must be talking about a completely different occasion. Um, yeah, we'll try that tank MR item. I think tanking is going to be really important here. Let's see, what are the stats on this? Oh, I also need to get an elixir, because why not? Alright. We get 400 health, 80 MR, that is absurd. And after not taking magic damage for 12 seconds, getting a magic damage shield for 500. What? That is absurd. Jesus, there's never been that good an MR item in the game before. So I'm currently sitting on 192 MR. Jesus, it was too late now. What? No. That is not how he sees it, surely. Uh, I need to get that red trinket too, to deal with all these shrooms. Also know there's a ward here. Could clear it if I had a red trinket. Gonna try ulting? I wasn't meant to be rooted though. What am I rooted by? Oh, I think it was just Pike, Pikey, right? Yeah. Thank God she still got pulled in by my ult and died. Try and get him. Uh, he's way overextended here. He should be able to just disengage. Yeah, he did. But he took a lot of damage though. That is huge. He's gonna have to base right now and they have one dead. So this could be only three people defending here at most. Or, okay, I mean, Ziggs is choosing to stay, but I don't think that's smart in either way. Seems they can't do much about this. Okay, huge. Uh, we could also try and get Drake now, I guess. Timo's gonna be pushing top. He might get a turret, he won't get an inhib, that's fine. I would just recall already, but I really don't trust my team to get this Drake unless I hand, uh, like, hold their hand the whole way. There's also the chance where I might steal, so I do benefit a lot from sticking around making sure we get this, even if my team were more trustworthy. There we go. This is fine anyway. Yeah, we struggled a bit in the early game, but you can see Nala's is just an absolute late game monster. Problem with Nila right now, she's actually just obscenely broken in the early game, broken in the mid game, broken in the late game. She has no weak stages at the moment. She's sort of an all-rounder champion, which means that when she's... Oop. I'll use ult immediately, as soon as I can. There we go. Boom. Uh, so when she's broken, she's like broken at all stages. Like, she'll outskill you while being stronger than, her, than you in the early game as well. Can we get Ziggs here, maybe? Okay. Forest has W at least. I don't know what the cooldown on that is late game, to be honest. Hopefully not that long, though, because I've got two dashes now. Nice, got him. Cool. I can't just stand here, can I? I mean, this Pike is really low. He can't really do much. There's just Pike and Teemo. Ugh, oh, didn't quite kill him, though. What? Does he have that stance, or did I just sincerely fuck up? I'm just going to escape with the Scimitar active. Oh god, that could be for me. Nice.
<clears throat> and we base. Considering whether I want to upgrade Collector to our Dominix, I'm not entirely sure if I do, though. Oh, what I could do, though, is sell boots for Phantom Dancer. Don't want to do that, though, because I don't have too much movement speed. But it might be worth it just for the 100% crit. Ah, fucked up my Q. You should be dead, though. Oh, what the hell? No. Oh. Mm, my bad, I got hit by too much CC there. If I had Scimitar, that would have been a lot better. Uh, we can check my movement speed with Phantom Dancer. Oh, right, not a Zealot anymore, of course. 408. I, I think that could be worth it, maybe. It's gonna be higher in combat as well. We might have been overforcing here straight up. Ah, so the main thing was that I got stunned by Briar exactly as I flashed. That prevented me from one-shotting Ziggs. But an alternative approach I could have taken here was instead of chasing down the Ziggs, I can see two people dashing on me. If I immediately just ult here, sure, they're going to do some initial burst, but they're going to get immediately, like, blown up by my ultimate. And as soon as I saw being stunned, I just one-shot them with my Q auto as well, AoE. So I might have just been overforcing on Ziggs here, to be fair. And I tried to do that at this point, but at this point I'm already much lower, and there's also a Pike here who also stunned me. Ended up being stunned for 3.27 seconds, which is not ideal. But nice steal, Leeson. Such a shame that I wasn't alive for that. Not his fault, though. This Lux is actually catching up to Ziggs' farm. That is so illegal. <laughs> Maybe I can try something on the bar here. Okay. Hello? Ah, I keep forgetting about the red trigger, by the way. There's no chance we catch him, I don't think, but maybe Yasuo can catch him. Okay, that's not a slow. He's probably just leaving us in shrooms. Ow, I forgot about that shroom. Maybe Yasuo gets him. I'm gonna push this first. Oh. Ooh. Hmm. Well, that's inconvenient. Nice one, Lux. Let's get this red buff if we can. Jesus. Probably should have actually, um... Used my Q to secure the red instead of using it for DPS, just in case Spike tried to steal over the wall or something, but it's all good. Alright, we're gonna pick up the red trinket and just refresh this. Perfect. The unfortunate thing is that Timo actually makes it really hard for us to end between making the map really dangerous to walk through. Which, you know, is pretty much something that is very integral towards ending games. And, um... Also just having so much wave clear of their own. Okay, they might get that Drake. That's fine. We can push mid instead. Oh. Okay, he lives. That's fine. Pretty much... So, because they have set up on the Drake and potentially Timo has had time to play shrooms there... Uh, I would say we should just disregard the Drake, let them have the Drake, it's not soul. We just let them have it, and we just trade in hip for it. My team is not doing anything at all, though, which is not good. Probably gonna, gonna just have to leave now. Even just Teemo alone is already a huge issue for me in trying to take that in hip. Even if, obviously, I've got the QSS for his blind, but I have no idea how many shrooms I'm gonna potentially walk into. I don't even have my red trinket up yet. Uh, also, I ideally want to avoid getting into a fight right now, because we know that pretty much their entire team is probably on the board. Whereas we can see Yasuo is top, Lux is in base, Lee Sin is in base. It's only me and Hoya right now. If we get baited into engaging, or even worse, get engaged on, that could go really badly for us. Knowing their potential numbers versus the, num the p really poor numbers we know we have at the moment on the map. I should stop farming as well, by the way, if I can. Avoid it. Might as well let Hoya have stuff.
We should try and turn on them. Come on. Is QSS on I don't even know what? Wait, no, I don't. What? Why does my QSS keep not casting? I'm so confused. Wow, I actually can't avoid this. Okay, but I got him. Eventually. Come on. We'll waste dashes on it. Just to be absolutely safe. Like, uh, maybe I'm just bad, but I swear to God, I keep pressing 5 during CC and nothing happens. It's like it's like the CC is preventing me from casting QSS, which is the whole point of QSS. Like, what is going on, man? Ow. That's fine, we have a lot of life still. If I flash on him, I could one-shot him, but I don't actually think this is a good use of my flash. I would rather save my flash to, like, win a team fight that's gonna win this game, rather than give myself 300 gold. What am I gonna do with 300 gold? When I'm already full build, it's useless. That would be a very, very bad use of flash, because killing Pike is not gonna win me the game right now. Oh, that sucks, though. Once again, sandwiched. Okay, not anymore. At least we got the unhub. Maybe I'm just always knocked up when I try and use QSS. No, but it's it should still be possible if you're knocked up. It just won't remove the knock up. It's straight up not being on cooldown when I think I've used it. So weird. I shouldn't actually relinquish control of this brush. I can avoid it. <laughs> now I can't avoid it. Okay, we could push mid Bar's bot for whatever reason. And Baron is about to spawn. Actually, she should not be there. She does have her ultimate, I guess, to rejoin, though. Ah, oh, come on, wasted my ult. QSS, why doesn't it cost, man? I'm so confused. I pressed it so much faster. I have to mash it for it to work. There, there has to be a bug with it, this patch or this game or something. I don't know. I need to try and lifesteal. That's something. Nice one. Might catch him here. <gasps> what? No, no, no. That was meant to be the targeted Q. I don't know why it didn't go properly. I meant to use the Q during my E, you know? Um... I can try and end, I guess. Otherwise, my team should do Baron. Nice, that's one turret down. God, she's tanky all of a sudden. She bought some armor. At this point, I would have actually sw swapped my Lord Dominic's regards. Since somebody actually bought some armor, swatch my sold my collector to Lord Dominic's. I mean, but it's all good. Jesus, that was a weird, weird game with my scimitar. I need to look more into that. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.